What's up, time keepers? Me, Time Gamer here, bringing you more Fallout 76 beta. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm bringing you the PC version of the beta. Now, it all downloaded, everything seems to work, everything's on Ultra and should be good. I'm playing, uh, I'm a, I'm a PC nerd, I'm a console of course, uh, sorry, I, I play console a lot. And all the Fallout's game I always, the, all the Fallout games I always played with, con like, on P console. So I'm gonna play with this, just because I'm used to it, and uh, it actually worked automatically, so that's pretty good. So yeah, we're going to play another version. I'm going to start from the beginning, but this time I'm going to be doing a bit more story than what I did with the PS4 version. I might do some comparison videos. I don't know. We'll see if that works out if you guys want any. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait to jump back into this. Sorry for the last video. The, there was a bit of a like uh, audio screw ups for some reason. I, I like it just didn't, didn't want to work. It, it, for some reason, it uh, took my camera audio for some reason and... It, it might, it, anyway, it doesn't matter. So we'll, we'll get right into playing the beta right now. So if ready, I'm ready. Time to go. Overseer's log, south of Vault 76. <laughs> I, I knew this wasn't going to be the Appalachia I remembered, but... Mutated animals? Haywire bots? No people so far. We have to be ready to rebuild in... What I can confirm is hostile territory. Fortunately, Vault Tech was prepared. You see this? The cooking station, the stash box, the workbenches, all built with the camp. You need a home base out there. The construction hmm. and assembly mobile platform is designed to give you one. Just add resources, planning, and a little elbow grease. When you move your camp, everything you've built is stored, ready to be placed back down in the new area. Use this to establish a foothold whenever you're in unfamiliar territory. I've left my camp behind so you can use it. I know I'm breaking my own advice by not taking it with me. But after seeing Appalachia for myself, I need to make sure every resident of 76 has a safe haven they can start from. I'll make do without it. If it's still standing, the town of Flatwoods is further down this road. Find right. me there. This is the Overseer. Signing off. Equipment contaminated. Assistance required. Memo, responders, read. Responders, the, d the database now locked. Only volunteers and responders may access it until things calm down again. This is only a precaution until the whole thing blows over and we can get back to rebuilding the great country. I just updated it with more information about the supplies so when we get back, we can start distributing resources to the survivors that remain. Delbert and Kesha have volunteered to stay behind and take care of our survivors. Dessa. Tavern, the church, people were using oh, them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by Well, it used to be a person. But it had these green glowing lesions and its voice. Angry, tortured. We are one. One what? Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Dessa. We call it the Great War now. It's not been long. Things have been rough. Overseer's Log, town of Flatwoods. My God. There's no one here. The old tavern, the church, people were using them for shelter, but they're gone. Mutations we expected. But there's something else. A disease. I was attacked by... Well, it used to be a person, but it had these green glowing lesions and its voice. Angry, tortured. We are one. One what? 
Whatever happened here is beyond anything we expected. And we expected a lot. Okay, her message Before was they that. Were wiped oh. out, the survivors called themselves the responders. Wow. Yeah. Looks like they were made of firefighters, police, emergency medical staff. They even have an automated system to teach people about treating water, food, survival. I'm doing their tests, and you should too. I know it's even worse than we imagined, but. Someone's got to know where the missile silos are, and how to secure them. The responders are the best lead we have. Makes sense. This is the overseer, signing off. Cool. Self-serve registration. Welcome to Rob Industry Terminal. A responder survival volunteer. Welcome, survivor. This program was developed to turn regular survivors into certified responder volunteers. As a volunteer, your, your job is to help others. And our job as responders is to help everybody, including you. Volunteer, register here. Welcome volunteer, transferring course course to your external hardware. Done. Report to responder Kesha Dermot for further instruction. People director. Alright. First contact. Done. Search for her location in the system. Oh. Now that the message has been delivered, I can stop and wait for my next task. Kesha Kerm. Uh, so yeah. Search for her location in the system. That's done, that's done. Search her kitchen along near the nearby river. Can do that. Responder paramedic junk suit. Cool. Thirst things first. Sweet. I love this. This actually looks pretty nice. Oh, there's a response. Dasa has asked us all to document our stories for posterity, you know. Well, seems like a fine idea. So, hi, I am Kesha McDonald. When the bombs fell, I was in Watoka. Coordinating a statewide science at the water for that pumps. year's high school kids, and the theme was the future of energy. Okay. After the bombs, everything was pretty chaotic. Scavenging for food and fighting off rabid survivors. Oh, it was just a bad time all around. I found a couple of surviving kids from the high school whose parents didn't make it. And we holed up in a house in town for a while. After a bit, I was able to solder the circuitry in an old radio, and we tuned Hello. in to a broadcast from the responders. Oh, we were overjoyed. The trip from Watoka to Flatwoods, it was rough, mind you. The kids and I ran into a group of assholes in the mountains who stole our food and water. I can't tell you how happy I was to find the responders in Flatwoods. Tents for everyone, open kitchens, medical supplies, protection. To the lab! We were safe. They had a problem. Their water sources were contaminated heavily. People were boiling water, but not long enough to make it safe. So, I stepped up and I said, I'll build a testing kit to monitor the contamination and I will teach folks how to properly boil water. <laughs> and I did. The world is getting better, but slowly we need to make sure it's dirty severe that's water has not significantly improved since the last sample updating volunteer staff care. that's all well time care and science let's boil some water
All right. Regretfully, I cannot help you. I am not authorized to do so. Check volunteer status. Send a responder. Catch up terminal for additional analysis. Done. Updating volunteer status with responder database. Done. Let's wait one more experience for the responder to become full volunteer. Transferring course to external hardware. The responder debit with further instruction. Delbert. I, I saw him before. Finally, break time. All right. Uh, login. Volunteer. Contact responder HQ. Urgent message: A large horde of scores is on the move and might get it to our main base in Morgantown Airport. All personnel are requested to report to HQ as soon as possible. Ring weapons, medical supply, Maria Chavez. Connection terminal. Uh, training volunteers. By now, everyone has heard about that. What happened? Yeah, I think I. Well, tech agricultural. Blah blah blah. blah. Why is there water sound? Why do these guys not attack me? No clue. Oh. What's this? Overseer journal entry, entry play one. Overseers. Let's call these personal journals. Not an official log, just something for me. The Agricultural Center. One of my first posts with Vault Tech. I was so excited because I used to come to this same farm when I was a kid. <sighs> I remember one year at the Autumn Festival, me running through the corn maze, going every which way, Mom and Dad yelling after me to slow down. <laughs> slow down. It wasn't going to happen. I guess I was always hitting my fast. Couldn't just be a pioneer scout. I had to make troop leader. Couldn't just be a good student. I had to have straight A's. God, I miss those early days. Being a kid. The three of us, our simple life. Our simple house. No wonder it's still standing. All right. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. I'm home. I'm sorry it's been so long, but... Get away. I know neither of you is around to hear this, but I miss you. I miss watching Dad grade papers on the living room table. I miss the three of us huddled around the radio, listening to the silver shroud. Dad, you were right about what living underground would really be hmm. like. Twenty-five years locked in with the same people was a challenge. Watching them pair up, get married, have children. Well, I think I got to know a little bit of what you and Mom were always telling me. Well, oh, is this her room? Trip down memory lane, maybe a walk over to the old high school is in order. Oh. All right, now we got two objectives in Morgantown, so that's good. my junior year when I got the news that mom died. Mining accident. Everyone in West Virginia has a story like that in the family. You just... You never think it's gonna be you. Deadly pieces. I started living in the library more than before. And I was already there to begin with. And Evan... <laughs> of course. Right to work in the mines. So handsome. Oh, and those arms. What West Virginia girl could resist all that? I can't believe you stuck with me. 
After the funeral, I didn't want anyone around. But there he was. Going up to the library after his shift with a letter for us to share. Every day. When the career fair came, and I met the people from vault -Tec, it was like a light turned on. Protecting families, protecting their future, protecting America. The first thing I did when I got the acceptance letter to Vault Tech University was head over to Mom's grave with Dad. He was happy I was staying in West Virginia. So was I. Ooh. Overseers lost. Morgantown. I used to love coming here on weekends, taking flight lessons. Now it feels like I walked into a nightmare. Those scorched things are everywhere. I kept quiet. They didn't see me. I managed to observe them for a bit. Whatever this disease is, it seems to completely take over its host. The ones that used to be human, Eventually, they go rigid in some kind of stasis. And if they stay like that for too long, they sort of burn up from the inside out. Vesuvius in reverse. Return. I wondered what could possibly cause all this. And then I got my answer. It swooped down from the sky, screeching, breathing, infecting everything. I don't know how to fight this, but we need to consider all our options. Even the nukes. We find the source of this scorched plague. Wipe it from the map before it can leave Appalachia. But first things first, we can't let the disease spread to us. Looks like the responders were developing some kind of inoculation. All right, all right. I'm going to pick up their work. You should too. This is the overseer signing off. It's been a few hours. I can hear them clawing at the door. I locked myself in a storage closet, but I don't think the door opens from the inside. It's okay. Everything is okay. Acute stress reaction. Panic and emotional distress. Breathe. Breathe. I guess it's been 24 hours since the attack. The sound of combat has... Is it stopped? I have roughly eight to ten weeks provided source of fluids. Starvation on set within ten days. Effects of psychological shock are ongoing, but repressed. I can worry about PTSD later. I believe it's been three days. Three nights.
join. Uh, oh, it hurts. Flex. And he joined. Ex extend. My P joint. And contract. Muscle. My name is Maria Chavez, and I am about to die. Scorched have overrun our defenses. They're coming for us all. If you find us, please listen carefully. We were called the responders. After the bombs fell, we tried, we tried to help people. Maybe I can still help you. The terminal nearby. It, if it's still there, use it. Learn about the inoculation project. It might just save your life. Cool. Oh, shit! They're, they're here. here! I'm out of time. Read the terminal. Learn about the scorched. Remember us. And good luck. All right, building camps. If Bondhair are able to construct portable camps for incoming survivors, then responders are free to focus on their urgent medical needs. Tarbigal Kadeh provides new volunteer with material used to fortify camps as well as additional safety tips. For his campsite outside of the airport, this is why. All right. Sweet. Oh, there's a vertebrate here. Oh shit, scared. Ooh, power armor. Learn about the inoculation. Find the next. Uh, okay, let's volunteer training camp. Responder survivors volunteer program. Advanced training. Camping by Miguel Caldera. Robot programmer extraordinaire. Part one. Finding the perfect camping location. Now that the world has changed. It's hard to stay safe. Used to be the camping was safe as houses. <laughs> well, until there was a strong wind, right? <laughs> These days, nothing is really safe. Even in your camp, someone might hurt you. The perfect spot doesn't matter now. It's all about your defenses. You can build near people you trust who will watch your back, or... Uh, Build things that will watch your back for you. No problem. Anyone can do it. Remember, camps are mobile. We're all explorers now. Camping in a strange land full of adventure, wonder, and danger. So, camp often. And rest a lot. Before the war, I was going to retire and go camping. Now I can do it every day. Forever. It's a dream come true. Russian. Oh, love, right? Now come to my camp, and I can show you some knots and framing techniques. Then, I'll direct you on to some helpful supplies. Good luck, volunteer. Responders, laboratory terminal. 
incubation project announcement. Folks, let's get, I've got some exciting news to share. As you all know, Dr. Hudson has been continuing her research in the lab at AVR Medical. Well, she just reported us to us to let us know that she's made a, sorry, a significant breakthrough. It looks like an, an God damn it, inoculation against the Scorch Plague could soon become a reality. Let's all keep our fingers crossed and make sure do everything we can help to Claire help Claire complete her work. Our ver, our very survival depends on it. Jeff Nakamura. Scorch research. Fuck, there's a lot of stuff here. I'll just do this, and if I want to read it later, I can check the video. Holy fuck. Let's go see Miguel, or Miguel, or Miguel. Let's go with Miguel. I like it better. Where the fuck you guys come out of? Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on now. Thank you, Mr. Fluffy. Miguel, ah, oh, he's God damn it. Excess camp. Okay, cool. Volunteer takes 132 minutes to set up a camp for the first time. Responder Miguel set up this camp in only 9,999 minutes. <laughs> Bravo. Miguel has some camp schematics on his terminal in the airport and a camp program hollow tape. Find them and return here. If really? Your camp doesn't have all the necessities. Consider using irradiated garbage to add that special touch. Camping syllabus. Find a safe spot, be sure to look for a fresh animal or human. Dropping nearby, remember if you do do, better shoo shoo. Use recycled material, construct your... Miguel, you should have followed your own advice and built turrets and walls and all those things. Why didn't you? <laughs> Alright, back to the airport Miguel I go then. used to be late. Attention all responders, this is a top priority message. Radar has spotted an inbound cargo bot. We've got to secure the landing zone so we can make the drop. We need those supplies, but the cargo bot's going to attract attention, so get ready for a fight.
Uh, God damn it. There's a lot of stuff to read here. Hello? Being tethered to your corpse is really rotten, Miguel. I keep hoping that a wolf will stop by and grab your bones, but no such luck. Sigh. It's not enough that I am tethered to an invisible point forever, but the nickname so uncouth. None of the other volunteer bots had idiotic names. Go over to that nearby clearing and set up your can. Overseer's personal journal. Four years of living, learning, and breathing vault tech. Graduating with honors in the overseas. Dad was so proud. <laughs> I must have impressed the right people because I was offered the next available overseer slot. I had just graduated. It was supposed to take years. <laughs> When I learned that 76 was going to be built, I was so excited I jumped right out of my chair and did a little dance around the living room. Appalachia would be safe, no matter what happened. Evan knew that most proposed He knew I would say no after hearing the news. He knew it better than anyone. Dad died a few months after Evan and I moved in together. Fantastic. You really wanted to walk me down the aisle. Well, I didn't really get to walk down there either. <clears throat> uh, I this time I went home. I owe Evan that much. Mission statement terminal. Okay. Introduction. Voltec University has established in response to the growing threat of nuclear annihilation that, that's facing our species. We create a unique environment in which a diverse student population can immerse themselves in all facets of education related to survival in the face of imminent death. Thank you for an innovative vault system where to develop a way for man to perceive in this persevere in this cruel and unforgiving at at atomic world. Voltec University concluded that all gadgets from this institution will be 100% ready for prepare for the future. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll take a risk for his room. Okay. Suave looking place. I don't want to go in there because it seems like it's a lot of stuff going on. Attention citizens. Watoga is under a state of emergency and evacuation order. Do not attempt to enter the city limits. And for God's sake, get out if you're still here. Unless you are military or a roboticist. In that case, if you can do so safely, make your way to the mayor's office in the municipal center. Is this what Watoga is? This is fucking... Yeah, it is Watoga. The rich part of town. Oh, shit. Let's 
sweet. So much stuff going on here. Probably very underpowered for this. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search. I have an idea. Fuck. Hostile <clears throat> target detected. Okay. Alright guys, that's going to be it for another uh, video of uh, Fallout 76 beta. Hope you guys are enjoying the beta. I'm just having a lot of fun. I've did a lot of story mission in this video. And I just kept exploring in another direction. I didn't I didn't finish at 11 like the beta was ending because I was getting tired and extra life this weekend. So if you guys want to donate and check me out, I'll be there uh, November 3rd. So if you're watching this after, it's too late. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really enjoying the game. There's so much cool. The, the, the improved base building, I do like it compared to Fallout 74. Uh, it's, it, of course, it's a new way of doing it. Uh, it's very diff It's a bit different. Uh, but the PC version, that's what I played on, and it looks pretty fucking good. There's, uh, but like, it's still a beta, so there's a lot of, there's still some stuttering, there's still some weird stuff going on. But I do feel like the, 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 everything feels a bit better, everything feels a bit smoother on the, on the PC. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'm really enjoying this game. I know I played solo again. Next time I'll try maybe to do some PvP and... Uh, play with friends and stuff like that. We'll we'll have to see. So thanks so much, guys, for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe mm. to the channel. We really appreciate that. Go follow mm. me everywhere at Meetime Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, mm. Instagram, and right here on YouTube.com mm. slash Meetime Gamer, where I post a new video every day week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And we'll see you next video. Keep on, get on.